गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप एवरीबडी इज़ वेरी वेल एट देयर होम एंड दे आर सेफ ऑल्सो एंड आई होप यू हैव जस्ट डूइंग यूर ऑल द वर्क इन यूर कंसर्न नोट बुक्स स्टार्ट टू जस्ट डू एवरी सब्जेक्ट नोट बुक्स वर्क इन यूर फेयर नोट बुक एज एवरी वन हैव परचेज यूर द नोट बुक्स नाउ आफ्टर जस्ट डूइंग द वर्क यू हैव टू जस्ट शो द सेम वर्क टू योर कंसर्न टीचर ओके मैथ्स वर्क टू मी एज इंग्लिश वर्क टू सुमन मैम हिंदी वर्क टू संगीता मैम एंड साइंस वर्क टू पुष्प्रता मैम एस एस वर्क टू मोना मैम एंड संस्कृत वर्क टू अर्चना मैम इफ़ यू आर नॉट हैविंग एनी फोन नंबर विद यू You just make the request to me on my personal. I will send the number of each and every teacher to you. Okay. So on test days also, you have to send the test to your concerned teacher, and for notebook checking also, you have to just send the notebook pic to concerned teacher, so that for the PA one, your assessment can be done and the marks can be given by your concerned teacher. Clear. I hope you will follow. As we were doing unit first, and everybody have purchased the book, so you will do reading of chapter also side by side. As we have discussed regarding some properties, that associative, closer, property, multiplicative identity, additive identity, distributive property. All these identities are given in your book. So just do the reading of that one also. okay because you have been asked regarding properties also we have done exercise also now today we are going to do some more extra question and example also okay as first question we are going to do that find the rational number between minus 2 and 0 ओके वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेशनल नंबर बिटवीन माइनस टू एंड जीरो इट इज़ वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यूवर्स ओके सो हाउ टू डू माइनस टू एंड जीरो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मेक इट्स डिनोमिनेटर दैट माइनस टू अपॉन वन एंड जीरो अपॉन वन नाउ वी आर एबल टू ओनली जस्ट सी ओनली वन नंबर लाई बिटवीन दीज टू डिनोमिनेटर दैट इज माइनस वन If he is going to ask only one rational number, that is sufficient. If he is going to ask more than one rational number, so we want more number it be in between two numerators. So we just make two the more numerator. We multiply by ten as by multiplication of ten it just some become easy also. So it will become minus two into ten upon one into ten and zero into ten. Upon one into ten, so it will become minus twenty upon ten, zero upon ten. Now from zero to minus twenty, nineteen numbers are lying. So you can accordingly write according to your requirement. If he is going to ask three, then write three. If he is going to ask five, then you write five. As I am giving the example of only three numbers, that is minus twenty upon ten to zero upon ten. So you just write up. means bigger than minus twenty but the less than zero and it will become minus nineteen upon twenty ten minus eighteen upon ten minus seventeen upon ten like this you can write minus eleven upon ten minus five upon ten it's up to you okay I think the things are clear to you okay now one more example I want to just show you that these type of questions if x is given to you you have to just verify minus of x is equal to minus of minus x that is equal to x okay this type x is equal to given 11 upon 15 and you have to find minus of minus x is equal to x for this type of question you have to take left hand side as well as right hand side 
okay left hand side you will put the values two negative will become positive and the right hand side only positive is given so you will write left hand side is equal to right hand side hence verify the both values will become pose value which is to be given to you same as it is if it is to be given with the negative sign the answer will become negative answer if the answer statement is given with the positive the answer will become also positive okay okay one example i am going to explain regarding property this property though in la last lecture yesterday i explained these two sums okay today i am going to just solve this one also because all the three parts are important one as the statement is given 2 by 5 multiply minus 3 upon 7 minus 1 upon 14 minus 3 upon 7 into 3 by 5 okay as it is to be given minus 3 by 7 here minus 3 by 7 here so i am going to replace the third statement place to second and second statement to third so first of all change the place okay change the place of the statement okay it will become 2 by 5 multiply minus 3 upon 7 minus 3 upon 7 into 3 by 5 minus 1 upon 14 if we are going to change the place of two statement means a plus b is equal to b plus a the property is known as commutative property so we have applied here commutative property now in first two statement just see what is common taking common and the rest statement to write in between the bracket that is known as distributive property so we have to just apply distributive property taking which is common minus 3 by 7 as common and rest statement to be inside that is 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 minus 3 by 7 is taken common 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 minus 1 upon 14 as it is now just take the bracket addition by taking LCM so it will gives you minus 3 by 7 into 5 by 5 5 by 5 that is 1 only so we will left with minus 3 by 7 minus 1 upon 14 now how to just solve this one by taking lcm by taking lcm of 7 and 14 gives you 14 divide by the denominator corresponding answer multiply by numerator you will get minus 6 minus 1 upon 14 so that will gives you minus 7 upon 14 by applying the rule of integers so it will gives you minus 1 by 2 as your answer okay one more sum i am going to explain regarding your rational numbers to finding rational numbers by just taking another method suppose you have to find three rational number between one by four and one by two. First method you know very well very much easy how to do again by taking lcm 4 and 12 same will be 4 so numerator will become 1 and 2 so 1 by 4 2 by 4 no statement lying between numerator so again we have to take the step of multiplication it will gives you 1 into 10 4 into 10 2 into 10 upon 4 into 10 that is 10 upon 40 20 upon 40 now as he has asked 3 so more than 10 and less than 20 take the numerator but the denominator will remain 40 so it will become 11 upon 40 12 upon 40 13 upon 40 is your answer second method if two numbers are a and b a and b are two numbers so any number lie between a and b that is 1 by 2 this is the formula for finding rational number 1 by 2 of a plus b means do the addition of two numbers and then divide by 2 this is the formula but we can say for any two numbers there lies infinite rational numbers okay now if i will take one number a as 1 by 4 another number b as 1 by 2 so first of all we do the addition of these two how to take the addition again by taking lcm and just taking the corresponding new numerator so it will become 1 by 2 of 1 plus 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 of 3 by 4 it means first number will become 3 by 8 okay if he's going to ask you get the one number but he is asking more than one number you can take one answer with one statement new number is to be formed again it's up to you the new answer with any statement 
in this way you can able to find infinite or as much required number he is going to ask you can reply as second number for finding the second number i have just taken the number 1 by 4 and the answer 3 by 8 now 1 by 4 is act as our a and 3 by 8 is your b again do the addition of these two and divide by 2 Again, formula will remain same. A plus B by 2 means 1 by 4 plus 3 by 8 divided by 2. So, first to the addition of this bracket, it will give you 2 plus 3 by 8 of 1 by 2. It means 1 by 2 of 5 by 8. That will give you 5 by 16. Clear? Second number. Third number. For finding the third number, it's up to you. Again, you can just take these two answers also. Or you can take any one answer with another chain statement or second answer with again first statement you can take any one don't be just think your answer will be matched with the other one because infinite numbers are there you are just get, taking any three numbers answer another student is going to take another three answer so don't be just think that he is wrong or you are wrong okay in the same way third for finding third number i took one by two and three by eight means first second statement with the first answer okay in the same way we have proceeded i got the answer that is 7 by 16 if he's going to ask first second third these are the three numbers if he's going to ask more than this you just take any two answer or any answer with again first statement clear i think both methods are clear too you can just take any method okay tomorrow be ready for the test for unit first tomorrow test of unit first okay bye